I'm Leonie Valentine. Download now. <laughs> Hello. Welcome everyone, welcome. I'm Leonie Valentine, Managing Director of Sales and Operations at Google in Hong Kong. In October 2020, we published a new research white paper with KPMG under the banner of Smarter Digital City, AI for Everyone. This sets a new benchmark for the adoption of AI and ML in Hong Kong, continuing our three-year research journey on empowering the city's digital transformation. Who could have predicted the turn of events that unfolded over the course of 2020? We certainly didn't as we planned for the research coming into this year. But this timely new report outlines how realising the benefits of AI among Hong Kongers and Hong Kong businesses will assist the city's economic recovery post COVID-19 and help businesses in Hong Kong to build a sustainable future with responsible AI. As a result of COVID-19, people across the region are now spending more time online. In Hong Kong, this time has increased from an average of 3.5 hours to five hours per day. With consumers spending more time online, they're expecting businesses to leverage AI to help them to do more with more efficiency. Hong Kong consumers are confident and optimistic about AI and their level of tech savviness really shines through in the high usage and confidence scores in the AI readiness index. 60% of residents even expect to spend on an AI powered service in the near future. With their consumers at heart, Hong Kong businesses want to provide better offerings and services for their customers and a reported 62% of businesses expect to increase AI investments in the future to help them achieve these goals. So how can Hong Kong organisations fully realise the benefits of AI? Although businesses see the benefits, there are a few common barriers they face in the adoption of AI. With you know, financial concerns, uncertainty about ROI, and knowledge and talent gaps listed as the top three barriers. To address these gaps, Hong Kong businesses are taking a proactive role to train their employees, with 83% of businesses reported to have implemented or are planning to implement AI training programs. The white paper also dives into analyses and recommendations for different types of organisations across the public and private sectors at varying stages of their AI journey. Let's take a closer look now at those business sectors. Across the key industry sectors, financial services is leading the way in terms of AI adoption but regulation is reported as a major challenge. 80% of financial services institutions want to improve customised benefits using AI, but 50% say that regulation is the biggest barrier. They're taking a proactive role to address regulatory concerns. 89% of FSIs already have some AI governance in data management in place, but more can be done in terms of partnering with trusted technology providers for data storage and usage. Going a step beyond, FSIs can leverage AI to safeguard their consumers. Today, AI and ML are already applied to identify financial crime and detect fraudulent documents. And we're optimistic with more use cases for risk management and credit management. In the retail sector, 74% of businesses believe that AI will be beneficial and will bring improvement to their organisations. But there's a gap between aspiration and execution. While 83% are capturing media data, only 28% have really started to analyse it. It's really important for businesses to train talent and leaders who can connect the dots. By bridging their industry know-how with AI use cases, these talents can develop technology roadmaps and data strategies with clear objectives and outcomes. With AI, retailers can drastically improve customer experiences by scaling personalised marketing, automating stock taking and replenishment with pattern recognition, and personalising recommendations with customer analytics.
For businesses within the travel and logistics industry, 92% reported that their priority is to improve their efficiency and optimisation. But many are lagging behind in terms of making the relevant and correct data connections. 50% are using in-house data management tools, a great start, but these are prone to creating data silos. Examples of AI use cases specific for this sector include intelligent forecasting and inventory management, AI-powered smart warehouses, and route optimization. This industry is at an interesting and encouraging juncture with AI, hopeful of its promise and ready to scale up its investments and usage. To realise its full potential, businesses need to grow together through data exchange with partners, trial new AI technologies and build momentum. With the tech and innovation sector, 55% of businesses cited that improving customer experience with AI is their top consideration. But the full potential of AI has yet to be unlocked. Only 37% are proactively acquiring and combining external data sources for intelligence and forecasting. Brands within this sector are at the forefront of popularising AI for Hong Kong residents, but usage is comparatively low at 55% due to a trust gap. Therefore, it's important and more important than ever for companies to deliver their AI vision by building trust enhancing their AI governance, being more transparent with their data usage. AI in the front office can help deliver superior experiences to your most valued customers. Examples include the application of image recognition for smart identity and access management, intelligent agents for improved customer service. These technologies can help you stand out in this highly competitive and fast moving sector. 2020 has applied tremendous economic pressures and operating constraints to many businesses. And those with more mature AI and data capabilities have been more resilient due to their ability to better react and adjust to customer demand. The road ahead may be difficult, but you don't have to venture ahead alone. 86% of the most AI ready businesses in Hong Kong are already partnering with or planning to partner with external partners. The road to AI maturity requires trusted partners and a supportive ecosystem that you can start building today. My short presentation does not do justice to this more than 100 page white paper. There's a lot more insights and strategies for residents, corporates, SMBs and policymakers spelled out in the report. I invite you to download the full white paper now and help yourself and your teams to realise the possibilities of AI for your business. Thank you.